While Facebook rolled out an experimental feature to help users find public Wi-Fi, you might have missed the genetically modified mosquitoes to address Zika and the island running entirely on solar power. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where recycling old tech has been reimagined by a French artist who created garden scenes out of iconic Mac products. I personally like the cactus. Despite what the president-elect says, clean energy is perfectly capable of powering entire populations given the right circumstances. Tesla's new subsidiary, SolarCity, installed 5,328 of its solar panels and 60 Tesla power packs to cover nearly 100% of a small island's energy needs. They installed them on Ta'u in the American Samoan Islands. The panels generate 1.4 megawatts of power while the power packs store 6 megawatts. That's enough to keep the lights on for a full three days even without the sun shining. Granted, there are only about 600 people living on that island, but it should have at least as much impact on the environment as Fern Gully. Who accidentally released an evil force named Hexus. You may know that the Florida Keys are embroiled in a bit of a genetically modified mosquito snafu. Voters there approved a measure to allow a trial release of the insect's design to fight the Zika virus. The altered bugs work because the male is designed to successfully mate with female mosquitoes, but then their offspring die. The county plans to release the insects somewhere in this paradise within a few months, even though many people there are still opposed. Here's hoping it's more where the boys are That's what is rotten me. and less true lies. The bridge is out! What? Oh God, the bridge is out! And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. President Obama nixed talk of pardoning Edward Snowden. Apple stopped producing its line of home routers this week. Facebook is investigating a structural failure in its internet drone. NASA has demonstrated its impossible EM drive theory. And astronomers have found the roundest object in the universe. This is the final episode for the week, so enjoy your weekends. We'll see you Tuesday.